Hey guys, this is Scotch, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use an Xbox controller with your Mac. So, I wanted to use an Xbox controller because sometimes mouse and keyboard just doesn't feel right. So, the first thing you got to do is you got to go to tattyboggle.com. I'll put the link in the description. And you got to download the the driver. Click the driver, I think it's better. And so it's going to be in your downloads here, the controller install. And so you open, you click that, it's going to open, and you just go through the installation. It's safe, you have to do a restall, install, and you have to agree to a license. But I already did it, so I don't have to. Uh, then what's going to happen is you're going to restart your computer, and then you're going to notice that this is going to be in your settings so all you have to do is plug in your controller and it registers now a lot of people know this already because it's the only driver and it's pretty much the only way you can also toggle dead zones on this depending on how you like it um, but anyways I wanted to get a generic one like a GameStop one but because the Xbox ones are 40 bucks they're actually pretty expensive but what I found is when you plug it the GameStop controller in it doesn't even register that there's a controller plugged in and I search all over the internet for this and so what I want to do is this only works as far as I'm concerned right now with the Xbox 360 controller or as far as I know let's say so I want to start a conversation in the chat below the comments sorry and I want to say um, which controllers work and which controllers don't and it doesn't have to use this driver but I was research while I was looking around to find the controller there were some logic logitech game pads that weren't too expensive but I, I didn't really want to buy those because they were somewhere really far away like in Korea or something but I want to find out what controllers work what controllers don't and so we can have one less thing of confusion I'll start it off. Microsoft wired Xbox controllers work. GameStop wired controllers don't. So please, if you have any input on this, please leave it in the comments so other people can code through this a lot easier. This That's what I'm trying to do today because a lot of people already know how to install a driver but not everyone knows what controllers work so yeah i hope this really helped you out now i'm going to show you how to sync it up with team fortress 2. all right so as you can tell i'm already on steam and the controllers are already plugged in you have to have the controller plugged in before you start team fortress 2 or else it won't work so let's start it up so the first thing you have to do is you have to open developer console. If you can't yet, you have to go to options, go to advanced, and enable developer console. Then you just press the button. It's going to be right under your escape key and write EXEC space. And then it will pop up right there, 360 controller. And submit. And then it's going to work. If you want to edit the controls, you can go into options and fiddle with that. To undo the controller, you have to go to developer console and press EX exec undo undo 360 controller and that'll do it. Uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Remember to put your experiences with the controllers, what worked, what didn't, and what was compatible. And this also works on 
all of Valve's games, I believe. Gary's Mod, Portal, Left 4 Dead, Counter-Strike Source. This works for all of them. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. Subscribe and like if you like the this cool little tips and tricks. Or if you like Let's Plays and Top 10s, which I'm going to be doing soon. But this is what I put out for today. I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, bye.